Good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss about Bain's bridge. A Bain's bridge is an AC bridge which consists of four arms of an passive element. Two of them are ratio arm, one is going to be a standard arm, and one is going to be an unknown arm. And this Bain's bridge is used to measure an unknown capacitance in accurate manner. Meanwhile, the main application of this Bain's bridge is used to measure the frequency. Let me see the diagram. How this going to be? Which consists of a capacitance in series with the resistance in the arm one as C one, R one, and arm two, which consists of a pure resistance R two, and arm three, which consists of a capacitance in parallel with. Its internal resistance R three and arm four, which consists of a pure resistive element R four, along with that the circuit or the bridge consists of a detector and AC source. The bridge can be balanced. By adjusting the arms of R1 and R3, as we are aware about that, R4 is an unknown arm. But here we can make use of R1, R2 as ratio arms, R4 as standard arm, and R3 may be unknown. Or maybe this two may be the ratio arms, and this may be unknown and it may be a standard. So however it may can we can make use of that. This bridge is used to measure. The frequency of the circuit. Meanwhile, the capacitance of C1 or C3 may be calculated in accurate. Let me see how the things going to be happen here. We know that the respective arms, the impedance Z1 consists of R1 in series with the capacitance C1 and R2. Is a pure resistive element, and Z3, which consists of a resistance and a capacitance. That capacitance in parallel with the resistance, and the arm Z4, which consists of a pure resistance R4. We know that at a balanced condition. When the bridge is under balance, that shows that the detector which is going to read a null value, that situation is going to be called as a balanced condition. The bridge is balanced condition. Hence, we know that the opposite arms, the product of opposite arms are equal when the bridge is going to get balanced. So, the opposite arms Z1, Z4 is equal to Z2, Z3. It's a balanced condition, and we come up with the values of this. R1 in series with C1, means we can take R1 minus J by omega C1, and R2 is a pure resistive R2, and R3 in parallel with C3. Hence, the parallel components of C3 and R3. It's not so easy to do that. But hence, we are going to convert. The impedance into its admittance. How the Z2 may be rewritten as Z1, Z4 by Z3, and Z3 may be replaced as 1 over Z3 as Y3. The impedance is going to be considered as its admittance. So Z2 is equal to Z1, Z4, Z3. So the admittance value of the parallel Components of C3 in parallel with R3 may be written as 1 over R3 plus J omega C3, and is R4 something but the pure resistive element R4. Just substituting this values in this expression, let me substitute it. R2 is equal to R1 minus J omega C1 into R4 
into one over R three plus J omega C three. Taking the values into this brackets R one R four minus J R four by omega C one. And one over R three plus J omega C. Now R one R four by R three minus J R four by omega C one R three plus J omega C three R one R four minus J square omega C three R four by omega C one. J J square becomes minus one minus into minus into minus plus omega omega will be cancelled. So the expression can be written as R one R four by R three minus J R four by omega C one R three plus J omega C three R one R four plus C three R four by C one. Here, if we take the value, the expression is going to be like this. Just equating, equating the real and imaginary components. Then. Which takes the real components and the imaginary components. What's the real value? R two is equal to R one R four by R three plus C three R four by C one. Take R four outside. R two by R four is equal to R one by R three. Plus C three by C one. This is a real component which yields the value of U and B by the imaginary values minus J R four by omega C one R three. Sorry, R four by Omega C one R three is equal to omega C three R one R four R four R four will be cancelled and from this we can get the value of omega square is equal to one over C one R one C three R three. From this we can calculate the value of Frequency f is equal to root of r1 c1 and r3 c3. So this is the way we can find the frequency from the circle. So the main switch is useful to measure the frequency of the circle. Okay. So just f is equal to one over two by root r1 c1. Into R two, so R three C. In case if we assume C one is equal to C three is equal to C, and R one is equal to R three is equal to R, then the frequency F is equal to one over two pi. R into C. The finding the frequency F is equal to one over two pi R C. Since R one and R three are to assume as R value, C one and C three both are assumed as C value. Hence, R into R R square, C into C C square. So square will be cancelled over here. Hence, F is equal to one over two pi R C. This is the frequency which we can measure by the Wien's bridge circle. Hence, 
the range bridge circuit may be used as a range bridge oscillator to generate the frequency and to make use of the signal generation can be done from this range bridge. Okay, done.